watch every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful with the first kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Big Train. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin. And when the action begins, I'll let you in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Great. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accept that this is gonna be a stand-up fight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Just misses with the straight right. Fantastic kick. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Just misses there with the left. Oh, high-level stuff as he counters with that right hand. He's in the clinch. This is one of his strongest spots. How does he proceed? Oh! Big kick lands. There's another takedown attempt. It's very when he throws that body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. And they separate. Just misses with a left hook there. Big hog punch land. Now he gets back to range. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, the Superman punch lands. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. Oh, huge right hand. Get my hit. Oh, so a strong five minutes down. Oh, Scott. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Well, missed on that one. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he got him hurt bad! Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Here. Oh, nice job, Vincent. And he's out. Working on a guillotine. Same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And he's back up. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, big knee! Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds. His opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's out of pressure. He's got to take that finish down. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. 